Hi, welcome back, or welcome if this is your first time here. Say, today we're going to go through a Kafka consumer. We're going to talk about some of the key aspects of that. And before we actually get into this code here, we are going to start up Kafka. So I'm going to go quickly. I'm assuming you know most of this already. Um, let's run clear. I'll start up Zookeeper here. Give that a few seconds, and then I'll switch over to this tab. If you're wondering, I'm up here. I'm going to switch over to this tab, and uh, I'll clear this out if I can type. And then we'll actually start up Kafka Start here. And we'll wait for this to go to start up. Um, but what I wanted to call out while we're doing that is we'll go through this Kafka Consumer example. Here you can see this is an object. Um, this is in Scala. Um, for those of you that are new to Scala, I think you'll pick it up pretty quickly if you have familiarity with Java. Otherwise, I have a ton of other tutorials around that. But really, what we're trying to do is just quickly go through this consumer, call out the highlights again, because there's so much more to cover um, in Kafka related development. So this is just, you know, we'll go quickly. Um, what we're going to cover here is actually running this. We'll run it in a few different ways. And I should just call out as well that this entire screencast is meant to accompany the written tutorial on superglue.com. So wherever you're watching this, there should be a link back to this tutorial that will describe everything that I'm doing here in this screencast in much more detail. So again, this is, we're going to go high level set the stage, this screencast should accompany a written tutorial as well. Let's just go through a couple of things here. I forgot to call up Chrome. Let's do that now. Um, I will drag a tab into this window. You will see all this source code at my GitHub repo Kafka, not streams, that's a different one, Kafka examples. You're going to see all that code here. In Kafka examples, my username is T McGrath at Kafka examples. So everything that I'm going through here today is I've pulled from that repo um, and then I've imported it into IntelliJ. In this screencast, we'll go through how to run this IntelliJ. Um, I'm not going to cover how to import this project. That's also covered in other tutorials. So you can see here I've got it imported. The class we're going to run, or the object, is this Kafka consumer example. We've started up both Zookeeper and Kafka, so let's actually start up this client. So we'll right click on it and run it. We'll compile it here down in the bottom, and then we'll start it all up. We'll see that it's running now, and next we need to set some Info to the topic we're listening to, that's Kafka examples. We'll go through a couple of different ways. I've got this teed up first. Um, I'm in a directory here that has a words text file. In this words text file, we have three lines that say do, and line one says do, do we, do da. No, do, yeah, do da. The next line says do, do we, do, do da. <laughs> you get the idea. Um, Let's start by sending using the Kafka, uh, Kafka console producer. Um, I'm on a Mac, so I can have cat. Um, if you need to do something in the equivalent of Windows, um, I'm sure there'll be a ex way to do that for you. So what's the topic? Is it Kafka example topic? Kafka, ex it's an example topic. Excuse me, that's the topic we're subscribed to. So example topic. I'm going to pipe those words. I'm in the Confluent directory. If we pipe that, we should see then back in the IntelliJ. Yes, we're seeing this information. So we'll have no, we'll have a key of null. We've got the value of do, do we, do da. And then we've got some metadata around the partition and offset. I've been running this a few times before I'm recording this, ca this uh, screencast, so that's why we see 1819. That code is described in the tutorial. What we're seeing here is here as we're looping through the poll of the subscribe to topic. 
every second. That's a thousand milliseconds. So we don't have anything for key. Um, and we're seeing the ordering nature of reading from a Kafka topic. Let's, um, let's try something else. Let's send in something with um, keys. I'll clear this, and I've, as I've mentioned before, I have something keyed up, teed up here for us. So with this command, and this is on the written tutorial, if I start, if I enter here, I can do key one, value, key two, value, value, and uh, I'm hitting enter now, key three. You get the idea. Control D to get out of it. And when we come back to our um, window here, our run window, we're, we're starting to see now with key and value. So that's the way how we can send key and value, or at least, you know, simulate sending in key and value. Again, real simple example here. But what happens? Let's change this up. What happens? A common ask when you're starting to develop consumers um, is how do I read from a topic from the beginning? Well, let's go through that. Let's stop this. Uh, we'll hit stop over here on the left. Now, and if we start it again, you'll see that we're not reading from the, the beginning. How would we change that, right? Let's stop this again, and, and I'd like to show you how we can do that. First, if we adjust this auto reset config the default here you'll see is latest if we change that to earliest that could be one way to do that again reading the topic from the beginning if you control if you um, command B into this you'll see that this is the actual config setting that we're setting this is just a convenience here for us but when you Google things like I'm about to demonstrate, you'll often see this auto dot offset dot reset rather than this config setting. I just wanted to highlight that. So if we set this to earliest, will that do it? So let's run it. And the answer is no. And the reason why this setting alone, earliest setting this alone, will not do it is what I'm about to show you. We've got a group ID that has already committed its offset location back to Kafka. And if you read the docs carefully, you'll notice that um, just setting this to earliest won't do it if we've already committed a consumer ID offset. Let me try saying that another way. When Kafka um, sees that we have a request coming in from this particular consumer with this group ID, it says to itself, has this consumer read these messages before? And because we've previously committed that in the past, the answer to that question is yes. So I will not send the earliest, even though I've set this config. So the way we can change this behavior and this is the expected behavior. It's to change the consumer group ID. So I'll stop this, come up here, and change this to something I know have, I've never run before. Now, if I run it and this demo goes successfully, what we'll see is what I just showed you. Now we're reading it from the beginning in order because we've changed the group ID we can see this in action again this actual commit behavior is if we stop this and re run it again we will see what we saw before nothing so I just wanted to call that out as something as a potential gotcha here for you is that you definitely want to make sure you're doing two of these things if you'd like to read from the beginning and this is just something that you'll do as you're developing and testing or if you're anything like me that's what you'll go through all right, so that should do it. Um, that's what I wanted to show you here in this screen. In screencast is setting the context of running this Kafka consumer. Um, showed you where you can download this source code if you want to run it yourself. And a um, couple of ways to run Kafka console producer for sending keys or not. Hopefully you find this helpful. Again, this screencast should have accompanied 
um, the written tutorial on the superglue.website. So if you have any questions or comments or suggestions for improvement, I'm always open. Let me know. Thanks, and hopefully this helped.